Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome back to Zebra Force. Today, we're going to be continuing on this track uh, that I've been working on called When It's Cold Outside, I Need an Extra Layer. Uh, this is part three of working on this. I've given it some thought, I've listened to it on my own, and uh, I have an idea. I have a couple ideas that I want to try out here. By the way, if you haven't seen the other two parts, go watch those first so that you know what what's going on with this song. I'm just going to jump right in here. So I've got this build up and drop section that I like. I think they're cool, but I think they're misplaced. I think I need to get to the point quicker in the song. So I'm going to take and move this whole section all the way from the build up onward. I'm going to copy that all delete it, move everything from here over. And if you want to hear what it sounded like before this edit, you can go back and watch the other video. Paste that in, okay? And then uh, we will bring this back over, probably somewhere like right there. So now we're coming out of this wordy verse section. Reality day, I guess it doesn't matter cause I'll dress like this anyway, go off. Oh, well, I need to not cut off the vocal there, but go off now. Dress like this anyway, go off now. Now, now it's like the structure kind of matches the lyrics of the song where I'm like, doesn't matter anyway, go off now, and then the song actually goes off. Guess it doesn't yeah. matter, cause I'll dress like this anyway, go off now. And uh, just because I, I don't think I went through this, what's actually going on in this section in the last video, uh, just do a quick rundown. Got two guitars, a uh, higher octave here. Got that tone on the left, and then uh, uh, the same going on on the right, but with a slightly different tone. And then we've got this track duplicated and pitched up. It sounds like this. I've also got a delay here, but uh, let's hear it without that delay. So other than that, this bass sort of guitar bass line thing, it's filtered during this build up section. Oh, ignore these. These are all wrong now. I got to move these around. Um, build up is here. Pre-chorus is over here. Drop is right here. So during this build up, it's filtered and then. I just noticed that this is kind of late and I don't like the way that sounds. Yeah. So that's the drop. Uh, I think it sounds fine. I, I had originally thought that there wasn't enough happening in the drop, but I think my problem was that it was coming in at a, an improper time of the song. And if I ever do listen to this and think that there's not enough going on, I'm going to help my future self out <laughs> a little bit. And I'm gonna move this uh, vocal right here. Now, so now that vocal line is suddenly played uh, over top a uh, completely different section instrumentally. You're like, oh, what's, what's happening? What's going on here? I think it moves the song along well. Let me add in these background vocals here because we need those to complete the line. So 
I'm kind of thinking maybe uh no 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 <laughs> you know what i mean a delay <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. And I also want to copy this over. If I'm going to do it again, I'd rather, whoops, I'd rather not do this one and then do uh, this one when it repeats. Um, but I got to figure out what I'm doing with this vocal line as the tr transition. I think I want to tape stop the other vocal. I'm going to copy this tape stop and I'm going to put it on this. I'm going to copy this channel, or excuse me, just going to duplicate this channel. This is going to be drop vocal, drop vox. Take that out of this group, remove that from there and that from there. Now we've got the chorus group. This is going to get our tape stop transition. And now this is separated. The tape stop can be a little bit slower for this, because I kind of want it to be answer instead of answer. That's a little bit better. Maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, let's make sure this tape stop isn't doing anything else for the rest of the song. Yep, turns back on over here. Okay, cool. Uh, I might actually turn it on earlier because I, I think I want to bring this line over. If I do, I will make another group for that. I'll do chorus and then I'll, I'll group this drop vox. Actually, I'll just do that right now. Drop vox and then I think I want to copy these again and do like a filtered vocal somewhere in the drop. Real quick, I wanna find out what it sounds like if I give it just a, a smidgen of space, like a couple beats here. Maybe if I added a, something else in this drum beat, so I, or the drum fill, so it's just a longer fill. Eh, no. I, I like that it carried the energy before, uh, like, right into it. I, I don't think I want to do, like, a fake drop thing. I like that the energy builds and then it explodes. Not really the time to build the energy and then, like, you know what I mean? I, I really love it when songs do that. For the purposes of this song, I do not like it. Let's see what I can do about bringing these in. I'm gonna consolidate this real quick. I'm actually just going to duplicate this and flatten it. And I'm only doing that because I have another new recording setup. because as soon as I started making all of these videos, my recording PC, which I was sending all of my Mac video to, uh, it, it went down the toilet. So uh, now I'm recording screen completely from my MacBook and it is struggling a little bit. So I'm just, <laughs> if I'm going to be making all these extra tracks and, and at duplicating all of these VSTs, I'm just going to help my computer out a little bit on the CPU. <laughs> this is going to be drop chorus, uh, just so I know what line it is. I mean, I guess I can visually see, but all, all good to be nice and organized, you know? Let's figure out where I can put this. Okay, I want to take out the butt so that the line still works. Take out the butt there. Okay, I, I don't know what's, what's happening there with this section, but this might be another verse. Um, not sure. Maybe a guitar solo? We'll, we'll see. But I, I like putting these vocals there. I just want to do something extra with them. 
Um, they just kind of don't fit right now. I'm thinking about just doing a little creative EQ curve here. Super creative. Uh, duplicate this and I'll, I'll swap them. So one goes left and one goes right. I kinda wanna put a delay here so it's like hand, hand, hand. hand. Yeah. Let's do a like a glitchy thing here. Glitchy vocals have been my thing lately. So let's make it make it my thing, yeah? I need a liquid break. Ah. Bye, please sponsor me. Okay, liquid's complete. Just gonna do an, a new audio track and this is gonna be glitch vox what, what what okay so we got layer i kind of want to do something with the layer part L -l layer layer hmm i don't know i don't know what what rhythm i want to do here Layer. I need an extra layer. Need, need. Yeah, we're we're getting somewhere, but it's not quite what I want. There we go. Um, okay, what else can we do to this? I think we can move this here. Yeah, I want to see what it would sound like if I put some echo or delays on here. Ooh, maybe a grain delay. That's not bad. I'll call this a bridge. I think it needs more glitch here. Lay, 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 lay. <laughs> lay, lay. Yeah. Okay, so that's sort of finished as like our build up drop bridge section. Um, I don't, I don't, excuse me. Oh my goodness, it's so much delay. I don't know where to take it from here. I don't really want to add another verse part, like another one of these wordy verse sections. I, it's just, I don't want to add that much more lyrically to this song. I feel that it is complete lyrically, so I kind of want to figure out other ways that I can complete this. That and because it was recorded so long ago, me recording a, another verse means it's going to sound very different than this one because this was recorded, whatever, three or four years ago, like I said in the other videos. So it would sound very different. It needs a break from the energy at some point over here. I really like this bridge. I'm just worried that it's too long. Maybe not using these two and bringing it in here. Maybe even no vocal here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we can work with this. This grain delay thing that we did in the intro could come back here.
Yeah. Moving this line here. Yeah, I I kind of like that. This is <laughs> I'll I'll be honest, I didn't play this that well in time. And I think it's because in the last setup of recording these videos, I had a little bit of a time sync delay because of the way that I was monitoring myself in my headphones, but <clears throat> hopefully that's fixed now. Maybe I can put this on the the uh the wild high channel we gotta pitch shift it up though oh my goodness that's not what i wanted <laughs> okay maybe maybe i need to make another one here let's duplicate this channel it's the amp on here that's doing that <laughs> Yeah, get rid of the delay. I just want to pitch. I don't really want like any special effects. Maybe throw it on the right. I wonder what it would sound like if I did one that's like a fifth and one that's an octave. So we have a little power chord thing. That's cool, maybe. I, I feel like that's the end of the song like if i introduce another verse there's not really much m more space to go i would have to do like another chorus or another drop afterwards or i mean i don't have to there are no rules i could just end it with like a spoken verse over top or something. I'm going to give it another listen straight through and I'm going to come back to this. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I've decided, yes, I do want a fade out here. Let's go master gain show automation, uh, start fade out. And there's something I noticed listening to it all the way through that once we get to this drop this is kind of a lot this um like uh top end loop that we have <clears throat> so i'm kind of thinking i might be able to make the drums match the guitar or match this drop rhythm a little bit better like instead of doing these hi-hat barks here those two what if I made them like crashes with a kick? Just, I, I feel like humanizing this beat a little bit more. Maybe a different crash though. Like something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should probably do that over here as well. Maybe even, um, I know this doesn't humanize things, but I kind of want to mute all symbols for this little fill. Kind of like a callback to that fill before. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh. Okay, hear me out. Dun, dun, dun. Hear me out here. I think I think this transition is gonna be really cool. Okay, obviously the guitar needs to change here. Uh, the bass has got to follow. That works. I like that it has movement there 
while everything else doesn't because it highlights it in your ear and because that's the primary instrument for this next section i think it works well i could bring this back in <laughs> I'm cool with that. Yeah. That's fine. I think this is pretty much done. I'm not sure what else I really want to do to it. I think the song is finished. Let's see how long it is here. Three minutes and seven seconds. So it's a good length. I could definitely add more to it. If I added anything else, it's got to be another verse. That's the only thing that I can think of. But right now, as of today, I think this is finished. There might be another part to this mini-series of working on this song. We'll see. This song will be on the February EP. I make an EP every month. Uh, the January one just dropped. It's called New Year, New Z. You can find it via the link in the description. There's two songs on there, but I'm shooting for four every month. That's going to do it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Let's do a, one final listen, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And turn around again Make it all right, then steer it back to the left again Do the crash, oh well Miss a turn, flip a U, then step on the gas again I got a gas can ready to put on a front, I said We could take infinite trips around the sun But you and I know we are not the one Is it a hot or a cold personality day? I guess it doesn't matter Cause I'll dress like this anyway Go off now